Hello, as you can see, I'm still in my spare room. I'm wearing the same t-shirt. It is in fact the same day. But in this video, I went out to Germany, to Cologne with parkour to film the new gravel wheel set, FKT. It was a wicked shoot, really exciting, and I can't wait for you to see the content. So on the Sunday, I was shooting a ultra event in basically Bournemouth, just off the coast there. Yeah, we were, me and my dad were down. We were doing the participation images for big feet events. It was down in Swanage. It was really cool. So we drove down on the Saturday, uh, did a lot of shooting. Um, well, we actually didn't do anything on the Saturday. I met a friend for some lunch on the way down, which was really nice. We got in, I think we took about 10,000, uh, published about 10,000 photos, quite a big race. So they were all done by the early hours of Sunday evening. From there, I drove over to Dove's house. I had to clock off about four. Um, my dad took over from me and did a little bit on the finish as well. Um, it, was in it was on National Trust grounds and the rules, commercial photography rules around National Trust are quite difficult really. Like you're not allowed to take, you're not allowed to take commercial images in a national trust area. So yeah, that's quite a rough dynamic. So we couldn't actually take finisher pictures or finish line pictures because of that. Um, because obviously we're selling images for anything from one to three pounds, depending on how many you buy. Sometimes less than a pound if you buy a big bundle. So yeah, that was quite annoying. But yeah, dad came and relieved me at four o'clock, drove to Dove, the founder of Parkour's house. We jumped in the old electric wagon and he drove me over to Cologne. So we got to Cologne about half three in the morning and um, checked in, managed to get a little bit of sleep and we were out filming at 8am. It was a really cool part of the world. The reason we chose Cologne is because we wanted to remove a uh, location from the British audience. So what you find in a lot of content, you can look at it and say, you know, that's the new forest, that's Scotland, and people can pick out kind of where it is. So we wanted to have a very bland um, gravel backdrop. So we didn't want it to, to feel like anywhere else. So that was a very conscious decision. Um, Parkour have some great German ambassadors. Um, so Jan and Lisa were our models. So keeping um, the content around the parkour sort of family and ambassadors means that, yeah, they get more use out of that, more use out of their team. So that was really cool. Yeah, out in Cologne, we found a massive forest. The first day basically just belted with rain, which mid-June is not what you expect. So yeah, that was a bit of a pain. In the end, we canceled the shoot. I couldn't fly the drone. The riders were getting very wet and cold. It was like sort of, it was under 10 degrees. So when you're wet and it's less than 10 degrees, it's really, really hard to keep the riders dry. I didn't want them getting ill for the sake of the photos. So we did what we could and then kind of bailed at like three o'clock and made the decision, let's wrap up for the day, go home and start early the next day so we can get as much done as possible.
So we started really early on the Tuesday, yeah, back to the same location, because we kind of found our feet with it up there. So yeah, we got a lot more drone footage, really kind of rinsed and repeated the kind of forest section and the trails there. So we got a nice mix of media, stills and video for their new launch content. So the wheels are really fast and really cool to ride. It's nice to see, the, it's not nice to see, I'm not sure, but the gravel market is moving more towards speed and performance, so more people are investing in that space. So it's cool to see parkours being a player. I'm not sure entirely how I feel about the idea of out and out gravel racing. Obviously it's got its place in the cycling market, but it feels like the adventure biking scene um, is a bit like ultra running where it kind of like the participation and the completion is the main focus even though you now have these very elite athletes taking part but yeah it's really cool to see parkour put their hat in that ring and create what is an incredible product Always enjoy doing launch content. It's new, it's new, unique, it's exciting. So yeah, two days in Germany. I wish I'd had a week filming it, but um, we kind of had to get everything done. I then stayed down in the uh, in the area for the parkour launch party on the Wednesday, they've got a new office. It's a really cool space. So um, yeah, nice to network and connect with more of the people that um, spend their time kind of servicing parkour and helping them develop as a brand. They are great people, they're doing great things. If you need some wheels, definitely give them a call. Um, they're also very knowledgeable, so it's, it's nice to see the inside uh, of the research um, and development of products. So yeah, thanks for taking me. Enjoy the content and I'll be back soon.